Well, hello friends and soul family, beautiful rising, good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our Daily Chakra Energy Reading and today is Tuesday, terrific Tuesday, July 11th of 2020. So, happy Tuesday to all of you out there. I hope that you are all doing so very well. So, today is 7-Eleven. And, I don't know, do the 7-Eleven still do free Slurpees on this day? If so, then definitely go out and get your free Slurpees today. Hit all the different 7-Elevens <laughs> you can. Because, <laughs> I mean, we know that it's been hot lately, so we definitely need those. <laughs> those 7-Eleven Slurpees. So, yeah. So all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So... If your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So, let's get into these, our chakra energies for today. So, yeah, I've been feeling good. So I've been, I discovered, uh, well, I stumbled upon watching my first sumo wrestling video the other day, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm obsessed with it, but I super love it. <laughs> like, well, actual sumo, not like American sumo, not that, the actual Japanese traditional sumo, like, yeah, and I don't know what even guided me to it or anything, I didn't search for it, it just came up on my feed, and I was like, you know what, I'm interested to watch this, and uh, yeah, and then since then, because you know how when you watch one video, it starts just recommending more and more to that of that type of video for you so yeah I watched one and then it started recommending more and more and I just started watching it man <laughs> like I like the tradition of it like it's very fun to watch just because of how traditional and just like the whole everything about it that it's very uh, traditional like it's very like you know, like, with in Japan, it's, like, very sacred and everything, and I was watching, like, from how they build the doyo, I think that's how you say it, like, which is, like, the stage, and it's, like, built out of clay, and there's a ritual to it, because, yeah, you want to have, like, good harvest and all of that, and so it was, like, I just love, like, how deep it actually goes, and it's really not just about, like, Hey, like these bunch of big old dudes that are throwing their weight around. It's like a reason behind everything. And I love, I love that. So anyways, enough of my rant. Um, but yeah, I guess I just like the tradition of it. Like I love that it goes back so many years, like thousands of years that they've been doing it. So, I mean, and I know that today they do it as best as they can. Like, I don't know if it's the same as, like, 2,000 years ago, but it's, you know, still something that's done. And I think that is super amazing. So, now for our 7-Eleven energy, we have secondary chakra yin, card number 84. I happily live within the regulating rhythm of the moon's forces. I happily live within the regulating rhythm of the moon's forces. So we are getting this energy 
again don't forget to look at that healing symbol but yeah we are getting this message once again for us that to tune into the moon cycles and the rhythm of those cycles so let's read once again the definition or the meaning so here we are i happily live within the regulating rhythm of the moon's forces meaning the moon rules over natural rhythms such as the ebb and flow of the feminine cycle entrust yourself completely to the moon energy and it will heal your nerves and many unconscious processes within you and reconnect you with nature one correlation to this is the spiritual qualities of silvers here is a little meditative exercise that can make it easier for you to access the lunar forces on a clear full moon night sit down in a quiet place at best somewhere out in the middle of nature take a bowl that is not made out of plastic or metal and some water with you while you sit in a posture that is suitable for meditation with a properly aligned pelvis straight spinal column and head held upright look at the moon for about 15 minutes let it have an effect on you unite yourself with it keep holding the bowl filled with water in your hands as you do so in conclusion ask the moon forces to come into the water so that you can be healed you will clearly feel when the water is charged now thank the moon energy and slowly and consciously drink the healing elixir repeat this little ritual during three consecutive full moons after each repetition the order of the natural rhythm will develop more and more of its harmonizing effect within you the healing stone is moonstone and thulite the fragrance essence is patchouli and the box flower is lark so we are being guided once again to allow the moon to heal us allow the moon's energy to guide us and to be in the ebb and flow of this life so however this energy applies to you but whenever we're getting messages out repeatedly it's for a reason so we are in cancer season and cancer is ruled by the moon and so that could be why the moon's forces are coming through so strongly for us right now because i think i feel like this message has come out for us like three times just you know recently so i feel that that is definitely a sign so tune into the moon energies i know that the full moon just passed actually like a week ago but we are being guided to step into that moon's energy and as i say that i just saw a blue jay in the tree outside that's amazing but yeah so this is the message for this terrific Tuesday. I hope that you all found something that you resonate with. And if you did, then please feel free to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. All of those things help these messages to reach out to those who need to hear them. So thank you all so very much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.